Deep in the new forest, in a fairyland setting, a new kind of squatter, the woodland gypsy, has set a problem for the authorities. For here, beauty and squalor live side by side. In huts of canvas and poles, sackcloth and tin sheeting, as primitive, said a Forest Commission report, as in the Stone Age, live 18 families, rent-free but comfortless. This woman's home is a shack in the enclosure. She cooks over a crude open fire. Nearest fresh water for a cup of tea is two miles away. Straw ropes bring in extra money, but pound notes never kept out the rain from a leaky roof. But the new forest gypsies are too busy to sit and mope. There's too much to do. There's the kids to bring up and the chickens to feed. And a housewife's job is much the same in Wigan or the woods. Watchdogs with nothing to guard, cats but no hearthrug. The authorities want the gypsies by necessity to go. The gypsies say, where can we go but the woods? 